Hello guys, welcome to my channel today. We've got a very special guest as we're going to be previewing the game between Arsenal and Leicester, kicking off on Sunday. Uh, we're joined by a Fusion 30, also known as Fahan. Um, how are you doing, bro? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me on your channel. No problem, man. I really appreciate you coming on. Obviously, like, I, was, I was trying to think of a Leicester fan and I thought you, obviously, because you know, you've got a really good channel and all that stuff. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to him already, guys, make sure you go and do that. Um, yeah, uh, as it says in his name, Fusion 30, sub it up and it'll just subscribe to him. And uh, yeah, I think how many subscribers are you on right now? Uh, I believe I'm on 730, but I haven't really been that active. But I'm trying to get there, finding time now. And yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so about the game then, obviously, Arsenal taking on Leicester at the Emirates on Sunday. Um, talk to me about um, how Leicester have been going this season. Has it been, I know, you're, I think you're like 10th or 12th or whatever. So has it really been a good season for you or has it been really poor? I don't know. Look, at the moment, we're talking about we're in red hot form at the moment. I mean, we're starting to pick up points. I mean, it's kind of a, what coincidence. While I haven't been really been active or haven't really been uploading on my YouTube channel, Leicester starting to pick up points and trying to get and actually getting somewhere in Europe in the Europa Conference League. I'm talking about, um, of course, getting knocked out in the in Europa um, in Europa League, um, of course. But look, um. Again, we, we we I've said this so many times on my channel and other people's channels too that the expectation was so high for Leicester City this season and we yes we haven't exceeded that but we were definitely not uh we shouldn't be sitting here I think yeah I think it is twelfth in the Premier League um you know nine times out of ten as I said it again before we were predicted to be five uh will be at least be fifth in the table yet we're now sitting here in twelfth which I think is disappointing um of course but again look. When you think about it, we haven't really lost any major players in the January transfer window or the la the last summer transfer window. So when you speak about it, I don't know what's really there because I know the players have the ability to go go to this extreme level, which they have. And we thought we were good enough for the Champions League. We literally lost on the last day uh, um, in the Premier League. We, uh, of course, Kane and Bale masterclass against us. Um Tottenham, uh, they had some sort of masterclass against us on the last day. We lost out in Champions League football. I think we were Champions League quality. We were Champions League level last season. This season, we don't even look. We don't even look capable for Europe. Europa League, neither neither group of Conference League. We're just about getting there in the Conference League now. I think it's a league. I think we should have been in this season. Uh, I think Europa League, or well, from the stats and from how how we've been knocked out, we weren't capable enough to go go forward into the Europa League. But look, I just think being disappointing this season, I believe last time we played Arsenal uh was a, it was in the King Power Stadium. Ramsdale made a few good saves. Um, two nils last one. Two nil, wasn't it? Yeah, it was two nil. Yeah. yeah. So look, I'm expecting a result here. I mean we've been in red hot form. Um, you know, maybe if you take out that Wolves uh, I think the performance was okay. I just think it was a bit frustrating at times playing against Wolves. Everyone gets frustrated. We've all seen it this season. Um other than that, I think, you know, recent we recently we've been picking up points. Um and I hope hopefully it continues. Yeah, man, obviously. Um what do you think the problem is is like why you're stuck in twelfth? Is it the manager? Because obviously I think Brendan Rogers is his manager, or is it just like the players not performing? I don't know. I think Brendan Rodgers, we've seen at times, he's changed his plan so many times this season. Now he's yeah. gone to a back. He's gone to a. He's gone to a back five. He's gone back four. He's tried everything this season, yet nothing's really worked. And you know, and I just think sometimes it's it's the inability of some sometimes the players closing out the the closing stages of a game, which I think you learn from a very young age. It's very it's very basic closing out a game, um, and that's what we haven't really done this season. That's what we've lacked this season. And I think, yes, injuries have come and gone. Uh, you know, we're still expecting a few more defenders. James Justin has been on and off since he's come back. We st we still are expecting Wesley Fofana now to, to come back very, very soon. So, look, we have got some major... But when you look at it sometimes, did Wesley Fofana really have that much of an impact in our defence? Because at the moment, from the stats we're looking at, from this season to last season, it does show Wesley Fofana at such a young age is such a vital part in this Leicester City player. squad. He's a really good he's, player. He's a good player, but I think he also shows that leadership at times. Um, yeah. You know, he's, he's, his game awareness is also good. At a very young age, he's a very, very bright talent. Now, I think we paid around £35 million for him, which is very expensive when you look at it as a, such a yeah. young player. And, you know, you're taking a big risk, but he did prove it. Um, but look, I think, um, yeah, I just think I'm expecting um, at least, I mean, 
I wouldn't be too disappointed with a draw, but um, I look. I say this because I really want uh, because we're in good form. Uh, and no, um, you know, no disrespect to Arsenal. They've been another level this season too. You know, last season they were poor uh, too, but I think they've, you know, with no Europe, they've put their mind on just the Premier League and they've delivered. Uh, personally, they're in the top four, I believe. Um, yeah. and so you know, uh, fair play to Arsenal. Um, and you know. There were some Mikel, Mikel Arteta doubters, but I think, you know, he's proved them wrong, wrong at times. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I'm expecting good game, um, but I'm not, I'm not sure, really keen on actually getting a win at Arsenal. But I'll, I'll be happy with the draw. Obviously, like um, you know, Jamie Vardy, right? I just wanted to ask: Is he injured, or will he be playing the game uh, against us? Do you know? Because I've heard something that he's injured or whatever. He was injured for around um, eight weeks or something, but he did come back again. I think it was against oh, he's back Burnley. Now. Yeah, he's back. Um, he didn't play against Renners yesterday. Uh, that's why I think maybe because he was rested for the Arsenal game because I think he's a massive threat. He was a massive threat when he came on against Burnley. I think yeah. he also played against the Wolves. I'm not quite sure, but um, he, he's uh, a massive threat towards goal. Did you beat um, Ren yesterday? I, I didn't see the result. Yeah, we, we beat them 2-0. Yeah, Mark O'Brien oh, with a good goal. And um, oh, he was able to score uh, Kletchi and Nacho very late, yeah. So, obviously... Um... What you know, as a Leicester fan, who who are you feeling the most? What player from Arsenal are you going to feel the most going into this game? You know, of course, you've got like, players with on really good format, Saka, Marnelli, and all that. So, like, what's like a player that you you really fear from Arsenal? I'd probably say Odegaard and Saka, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. They've been they've been another level this season, that, um, yeah. and you know. I'm actually quite, you know, I don't know what's going on with this Emil Smith Rowe situation because I thought, I, I don't know why I thought. Well, Odegaard wasn't in such a good, good form and he wasn't really, you know, his, his game time was very low and stuff. Emil Smith-Rowe was getting ahead of him. Then when Emil Smith-Rowe was in such good form, why did Mikel Arteta, I don't know why he did, but he dropped him. And ever since, I don't he just come off the bench, scored a few goals. But I don't know what's happened. Um, and I haven't really gone in, gone in too deep about this. But I'm actually quite confused about what's happened with Emil Smith-Rowe. Yeah, so uh, he, he hasn't been playing because he's had covid um, he, he he caught COVID about two weeks ago, so that's why he's not been in the squad. But um, even when he was in the squad, right, he uh, Odegaard's playing in front of him because I think he was on. Uh, I, don't, I think McCarthy actually prefers Odegaard in that position of a Smith Rowe, right? Because what he usually does is like, Odegaard is like you know the, the uh, number ten, and he puts Smith Rowe onto like the, the left wing sometimes. So I think he prefers Odegaard in that um, position. Personally, I think I prefer Smith Rowe, but. Uh, they're both as good as each other. They, you know, they've been absolutely brilliant for us this season. And um, yeah, you know, what would be your score prediction going into this game then? You know, I think we should be, uh, we should be at least, you know, competing with this Arsenal team. Um, and you know, I'm probably going to go with, you know, I, I really want to go, I really want to go with the Leicester win. But I think it's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to gas. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get too over the thing if I do go with the Leicester win. But um, you know, I think, um, I think I'll go with the draw. Uh, I'll go, I'm going to go one one. I think I think it'll be one one. To be fair though, when you do play us at the Emirates, right? Last season it was um, I think you actually beat us last season. It's one 0 weren't it? Bob Vardy scored in the 80th minute, and the season before that was one all. And then yeah. I think other seasons as well, you've actually got decent results against us at the Emirates. So I reckon it's going to be a top. I'm, I'm going to go see one Arsenal. I think it's going to be a really tight game, and the fact that Vardy's yeah. back now as well is it's going to make it even more worrying for us. And the player that I'm most worried about for Leicester, it's got to be uh, James Madison. Like, he's an absolute Yeah, player. he's been, yeah. You know, what have you made of him this uh, season? Look, there's no questioning his ability, um, but it, it's his consistency in which his, like, like, I think it's his injuries that really let him down. He, look, his ability is really good. He does it on a consistent basis when he's not injured. He gets injured a lot. If he's not an injury-prone player, I think he's one of the top five, you know, plays in the Premier League because he can do some absolute wonders for any team and I say any team and I think it's um, I think he should be getting into the England side pretty much sooner than later now because I think he's showing that he can get into this squad uh, in this England squad and I just think he's got to be a bit more consistent and you know avoid these injuries um and uh, but yeah, I think it'll be a massive threat if he does play because I think he yeah he didn't play against uh, Renners yesterday, uh, but I'm I'm pretty that I think that's why Brendan Rodgers probably rested him and Jamie Vardy um, for Arsenal because you know it's going to take something special. Uh, you know, it might take a bit of indiv individual talent that Leicester have. You know, sometimes to break through this team like Arsenal, who you know they've got a pretty good defense. Not I'm like 
last season we were doubting that this season i think they have improved massively um and yeah. i think you know even in the summer people were doubting aaron ramsdale uh, and players like tommy yasu and stuff ben white but i think they've had i've proven the point at arsenal and you know they've shown their worth they've shown their worth maybe not ben white but i think over time i think he will be able to show his worth um he's still a young player so over time i think he will get to the quality and ability everyone dubbed him to be yeah, I agree, man. Obviously, like we pay um, quite a lot for them as well. Ben White, fifty million, won it. So, and but the thing I like about it is that they're really young, so they're going to learn and all that. So they've got a big future ahead of them, and um, that's what I like us getting young players who have actually proved myself and many Arsenal fans wrong this season. They've been absolutely superb. So, uh, what would be your lineup for Leicester? Like, what would you like to see Brendan Rodgers go for? Um, look, personally, I'd probably go with um. Shmike Wingol, obviously. Then I'll go Suyunchu and uh, Amati. Um, and then I'd go with Luke Thomas. And I'd go with, uh, you know, it's hard, but I think I'm going to go with Jim Justin. Um, you know, I think he was a bit shaky at times against Brenners uh, last night. But I think he should start this game because we don't really have another option. We don't want to bring Marco Brighton too deep because I think he's ve- he's very vital in this Leicester side now, Marco Brighton. He's made his place in the right-hand side for uh, Leicester City. Uh, yeah, and then I'll probably go with Wilfred and Didi, K- Kieran Drisby Hall and uh, Yuri Tielemans. Um and then I'm gonna go. With, I don't know. I wanna. I wanna add Jamie, James Madison in there. But I'm gonna go with Jamie Vardy up front, Harvey Barnes on the side, and Marco Brighton. Um, but I think it, it, it's 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 toss of the coin really between James Madison and the uh, Kieran Drisby Hall. I think it's an absolute toss of the coin. So, you know, James Madison maybe has more of a chance because Kieran Drisby Hall again he played against Rennes. So I think maybe if you're looking about um you know actually being fit for the game um then I think maybe James Madison might be the player. Um so I probably go actually I'll probably change my mind now speaking about it. I'll go probably yeah. James Madison uh, ahead of uh, Kieran Drewsbury Hall. So four three three. Like, yeah looking at that squad right how is that squad twelve? I think it should be a lot higher. Like you've got some quality quality players in there. I just don't get how you have I don't know what it is. Is it the players for you then? Like, they're just they're not up to it or whatever. Because I don't know. It's just like it's kind. Of, yeah. It's like that. How's that squad twelfth, man? It's like, mate, <laughs> it should be so much higher than that. Because last season, what where'd you finish? As you said, it was like almost top four, Fifth, right? We finished. Yeah. Fifth. And then this season has just been a whole different. I don't know what's happened, man. But um, yeah. Obviously, if you want to do a lineup, we can do that right now. Obviously, in goal. Um. Who do you think has been a better goalkeeper, Ramsdale or Schmeichel? For me, I want to go around Ramsdale, but what about you? Um, I think I'm going to have to go Ramsdale. I think more more clean sheets, I think, Ramsdale. And I think, look, overall, he's just proven the point this Premier League season. Look, no doubt because for Schmeichel, he has kept us in getting at games this season. Um, but when you look at it, you know, I think Ramsdale, uh, you've got to give it up. You've got to put your hands uh, down, for, hands up for Ramsdale. I think he's been good this season. Very good. Oh, for the right back, Tommy me ask you and uh, who plays right back for you again? I was gonna, I was gonna go with James Justin. James Justin, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go be Tommy Yashu for me, man. It's gotta be, yeah, it's gotta be. Because James yeah. Justin, again, lack of game time, he hasn't been able to show, uh, you know, this season. Because I mean, last season, of course, he he definitely did. This season, though, you know, after coming back from an ACL injury, Ricardo Pereira, he was one of the rest, best right backs. Um, you know, yeah. um, in the Premier League, ever since he's come back with an ACL injury, he hasn't been on the same level. Um, that's why I think Tommy Yashu should get ahead of uh, James Justin. Uh, obviously, your centre backs, uh, Gabriel's got to be in there for me, and then uh, obviously you've got um, Sayonchu. I don't know what it is with him. He, he's a bit hit and miss, ain't he? Sometimes, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then of course you have got Amati as well. I think he's all mm. right. Um, obviously, have you got any other centre backs that usually play? Johnny Evans does he still play? I think he's injured. He's injured. Um, we got a lot of cent- yeah. I think Gabriel should probably get Gabriel should be. In the team, look at it. Yes, yeah, Yunchu is hit and miss. And Marty, you know, sometimes he's been absolutely poor. Sometimes he's been one of the best centre backs in the world. You know, yeah. pocketing was it? Yeah, he he was really good against uh, Liverpool when we won one nil. Um, but look, I think yeah, again, both Yunchu and Marty, you know, they they ha- they'll have their games where they're good. They'll have their games where you know they make mistakes, and it, it it's 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 how they play really. They're both centre backs. Yeah, you know. Without injuries, right? I would be tempted to go with Gabriel and uh, Fafana because I think Fafana yeah. is absolutely class. I think he's absolutely brilliant. 
um, he yeah. played the centre again alongside Saliba, yeah. And obviously, we've got Saliba, hasn't played a game for us, so I think we should have got Fafana instead, if I'm being honest. But anyway, yeah, yeah. so if we're doing it based off injuries, right, I'll go for Fafana and Gabriel. Do you agree or what? Yeah, I'd probably go with Fafana and Gabriel, yeah, if it wasn't for injuries. Yeah, and then obviously left back, Tierney and uh, who plays left back for you? Is it um, Thomas? Luke, it? Thomas at the moment, yeah. Oh, I've got, it's got to be Tierney for me, man. Um, probably, I, I yeah. I don't know about Luke Thomas. I don't really. Is, is he a good player or what? I don't really. Know. I think I think he's been really good. Um, ever since he's been brought up, ever since he's been actually brought up into the uh, Leicester, uh, the senior Leicester team. Look, there's we've we've had a few players there who can play there again. It was Ryan Bertrand, uh, who could also play there. Not really keen on him. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, Vestergaard been I think a flop this season for twenty five million. I think he was nowhere near the worth. Yeah. That we paid for him, not a lesser city signing, first of all. Anyway, uh, but um, yeah, I think Kieran Trini for me. Obviously, midfield, I think we should give some less players to you. Obviously, I'm gonna go to uh, Yuri Simulans in there instead of Granite Xhaka for me. And uh, who else is, uh, is it Doosby Hall? You play there as well. No, I put Bannison, but I think NDD should, I, I think NDD should get the head of Thomas Party or Xhaka, whoever there is. Yeah, you know, I agree, man. I think Party's been. Since he's come back from Ascom, he's done really well. But the start of the season, he was absolutely crap, mate. He, he's just like, you know, have you seen the way he shoots? He literally can't shoot. I, he, I know he scored a header, right? But he goes left, right all the time. So, uh, you know what? I'll go with you. I'll go with uh, Tielemans, yeah? And then Ndidi, why not? And obviously, in that number 10 role, this is going to be a tough one. James Madison, Odegaard or Smith Rowe. Um, oh, I, I love Madison, man. He's a quality, quality player. But I just think, oh, man, this is a tough one. Who would you go for? Um, look, consistency it has been Odegaard. Uh, yeah, for look, I'm, I'm actually not sure. I've come on your channel, so I've got I've got to back my Leicester team. I'm gonna to have to go with James Madison. Bro, fair enough, man. We'll, we'll go with Madison. I, I love him as well. I think he's a quality, quality player. Um, obviously the front three, right hand sides. Um, Scotty Saka. He's been absolutely phenomenal for me yeah, this Saka. season. Um, up front, I'm um, Jamie Vardy for me. 100%. I think, yeah, Jimmy Vardy. You know, Lacazette, yeah, he's he's got a few assists. <laughs> holds the well, but he's, he, he ain't yeah. great, mate. We should got a new strike in January for me. Uh, yeah. On the left wing, you've got... Uh, who have you got on the left wing? Uh, we have Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes or Martinelli. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Oh, uh, I think when you look at quality, they both have it. Quality, they both have it. When when now you look at it, Martin Lee is young. Uh, you know, Harvey Barnes is young too, but I think in terms of the Premier League, uh, you know, Harvey Barnes has been on the scene in the Premier League more than Martin yeah. Lee has. Yeah. I'm not sure though. I think... Um, has um, Harvey Barnes played from... a lot of games this season? He's only recently really like got into this team now. He's been on the bench a couple of times, got injured a bit uh, for a few weeks. But you know he's been again. But I think when he plays, he has he has proven a point every game he has played. So I think consistency, game to game, I think he's been very very good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't so, remember uh, any. Oh, so, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so we go with um, who should we go for, man? This is quite tough. <laughs> Oh, I'll let you call on this one. I, I called Martin, out James Madison. It's going to be Martinelli. Uh, it's be Martinelli. Boys, but anyway. Okay. Yeah, so there we have it then, guys. Um, obviously, thank you so much for for coming on, man. I really do appreciate it. And, no problem. You know, thank you. You're more than welcome to come on any time, man. It's like really good to have you. And uh, obviously, make sure everyone goes to subscribe to him as well. They can also find you on Twitter as well. Is it the same? Is it Fuse and Fruit as well for your Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's for Han now. Yeah. Go and follow it when it's everything, guys. And I'll, 